What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to fix an unresponsive Google Assistant. For this video, we refer to the Google Assistant command as OKG, that way we don't trigger your assistant. So there is a backstory to this problem. Let me know if yours is similar in the comments below. Every once in a while, my Google Assistant becomes unresponsive to my OKG command. This seems to happen usually after a software update. In this video, we'll show you some solutions to fixing this problem. Now it's important to know I'm using a Pixel 4 XL running Android version 10. This means that if you're using a different Android version, the media shown in this video may vary slightly. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So when we troubleshoot, we wanna look for simple solutions first, and that brings us to Battery Saver. It's important to note that the Google Assistant doesn't work if you have Battery Saver enabled. This is because Battery Saver disables certain features to optimize battery performance. Now, if Battery Saver is enabled, you'll see this as a red icon in your status bar. To turn off Battery Saver, swipe down from the top of the screen once. This brings up your notification shade. In this view, you can see some of your icons. Now, you might already see your battery saver icon depending on how you organize your icons. However, if you don't see it, swipe down from the top of the phone a second time. Now here you can see my battery saver icon and it's enabled right now because it's blue. Now to disable it, we're just going to tap on that icon. Now if you still can't see your battery saver icon, it may be on the second page. So all you have to do is swipe to the left and that shows you more of your icons and your battery saver icon might be on this page. Now again, once you see that battery saver icon, if it's blue, tap on it to disable it. Now let's run a voice test to see if your Google Assistant works. Now the next possible solution is to check the Google Assistant. There are several options we can check in this setting alone. First, swipe down from the top of the phone once. Swipe down from the top of the phone a second time. This allows you to access the gear icon, which is your settings, and we're gonna tap on this. Now this brings up a new page with a list of options. We're gonna look for apps and notifications and tap on this. Again, we're gonna get a new page with more options. We're we're gonna look for the assistant option and tap on this. We'll get a new page labeled assistant with yet more options. You can see things get buried in the settings. Look for the option labeled say hey G and tap on this. This brings up a new page that allows us to adjust Google Assistant settings on this device. You can see we have several options with blue sliders. Our first option here is Google Assistant. To enable it, make sure the slider is blue. Now if the slider is gray, make sure you tap on it so that it turns blue. Once again, run a voice test to see if your Google Assistant finally works. Our next possible solution is titled Hey G. Again, to enable this feature, make sure that the slider is blue. Now, if our slider is already blue, our next possible solution will be the voice model. Now, the voice model sounds futuristic. It's basically the voice data that you give the Google Assistant so that it can recognize your voice. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on this option. Now, this brings up the voice model page with two options. So we're gonna tap on the retrained voice model. This option allows you to retrain the voice model by saying OKG okay, and Hey G twice. Once you've completed this step, run a voice test again to see if the Google Assistant finally works. Now, if the Google Assistant is still unresponsive, our next possible solution is to cycle power on our device. Basically, power off your phone, wait 30 seconds, and power it back on. After unlocking your device, wait about a minute for your device to complete startup. Once again, run a voice test to see if your Google Assistant finally works. So final thoughts. Now, it's my opinion that Assistant settings and or data are lost after an Android version update. Now, the Google Assistant may also be buggy in this version of Android 10. The Hey G option in settings has what I call ghost activation. You can see this when the Hey G option temporarily turns gray and then to blue when we already know we previously turned it on or made it blue. In situations like this, report feedback to Google because it improves the service for everyone. Lastly, there may be other solutions to this problem. If you tried something different and it worked, let us know in the comments below. It may help others out. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, comments may also be featured on my IG as my way to show my appreciation and share some of the content. Now, there are three ways to support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the channel. The next way you can support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support the channel is just by clicking on that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing 
are also important for new viewers. If new viewers see lots of likes and subscribers, they're gonna think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out.